So let's start with an overview of what we looked into in the previous video, which was flow. We saw about classes and decorators. More specifically, we saw about the start and listen decorators in order to control the flow. And we looked into different types of flows, such as unstructured flow, structured flow. And we also looked into certain conditional flows, such as the R and and router. And we moved on to how we can run a crew of multiple agents and control the communication between them using flow. In this video, let's move on to knowledge. So what is knowledge? Knowledge in crew is just external information from different sources that we provide to crew. Think of it like just providing an external library that crew can consult while working. So some of the benefits of using knowledge is that it enhances the agent's domain specific information and it also supports decision making with real time data. It also maintains context across conversations and it grants responses in factual information. So rather than hallucinating, your model will be much more grounded in what it is trying to respond. And there can be different types of knowledge sources. For example, there can be string knowledge where, you know, you, your input, you're just getting pure string or text into your system. Or it could be a crew docklink source, which could be in the form of PDF or it could be in the form of HTML or the doc or a document. And we also have a PDF knowledge source. On top of that, our input or the knowledge source could be a CSV file, which is much more structured or it could be in the form of a JSON file, which is much more structured. So we look into different code samples to find out how we can ingest knowledge into the system or into the agents. After looking into those samples, we'll then move on to how we can manage the knowledge. For example, how we can delete or clear the knowledge, which is nothing but memory. Then we'll also look into agent specific knowledge. For example, if you have two agents, and you want them to have different level of knowledge about different topics, then how do we have a granular control over the knowledge? And then we'll move on to having custom knowledge. For example, if your knowledge comes from an external API in real time, you want to fetch the knowledge from an API in real time. And then finally, we'll look into the key components of custom knowledge source. Let's start with a simple example for string based knowledge source. What is different to a standard crew is that we first have to import the string knowledge source from the crew ai.knowledge.source.string knowledge source. Let's say the content that we have is about John. User's name is John. He is a 30 year old and lives in San Francisco. If this is the knowledge that you want to ingest into your system, all you have to do is you have to use the string knowledge source and provide the content. And once you have the string source, you will have to go about very similar to how you would use an agent and a task. You don't have to do anything here. When you create the crew, you just have to add the parameter knowledge sources and you have to provide the list of knowledge sources. In this case, it's the string source that we read here. And as always, we just kick off the crew and pass the inputs and we get the result of running the crew in the result variable. Next comes crew docklink source. Crew docklink source is much more versatile and it allows us to handle multiple file formats, including text, PDF, docx, HTML, and many more. Similar to the string one, all that we have to do is from the crew docklink source, we'll have to import crew docklink source and we'll have to create the content by passing the path to the files that we would like to give as the source. In this case, it's this blog post. Similar to the string source, all we have to do is add the parameter knowledge sources and pass the content source as a list. So this will enable knowledge to the crew and your crew will be equipped with the external knowledge. In a similar fashion, we can also have PDF knowledge source, which is by importing the PDF knowledge source from crew AI knowledge source. And we have to give the file path to the PDF documents and we create the PDF source and we pass the PDF source as a list to the knowledge sources parameter. The same goes with the CSV knowledge source. We'll have to import that. We'll have to give the file path to CSV source and we'll have to pass that as the knowledge source. So here they've given an example of how we can pass the knowledge specific to the agent. For example, if we just want this agent to know about the CSV source, then we will pass that knowledge sources variable here 
so that only this agent is aware of this knowledge source and any other agent is not aware of the knowledge we can read any spreadsheet and create excel source and we can pass that either to the agent or to the crew likewise it goes for the json data as well which is structured so we can read the structured data and we can pass that either to the agent or to the crew so if you have watched one of my previous videos on rack you will realize that you know we have all this data that is coming in in the form of pdf files or markdown or html word document whatever in order to do rack in order to ingest the data we have two other steps which is chunking and embedding which is then optionally stored into a vector db so there's a need for chunking and embedding in crew ai when we are dealing with knowledge and so they have given ways to chunk and embed data in crew ai so let's have a look at that so next comes knowledge configuration like i said we need chunking so they have given chunking configuration and so knowledge sources can automatically chunk content for better processing and we can configure chunking in the knowledge source by passing different parameters which is the chunk size and chunk overlap whenever we create a string knowledge source in, despite giving the content all we have to do is pass the chunk size and chunk overlap and that takes care of chunking the input that we give similarly for the embedding configuration we can configure the embedding model or the embedder for the knowledge store and it's useful if you want to use a different embedder for the knowledge store for example these are the options that we have got we, we've got OpenAI, of course and we've got olama vertex ai cohere and all those options and let's have a quick example of how we can go about it so in the example this is the gemini model so if you want to use the gemini model whenever we invoke the string knowledge source we have to pass the gemini model somehow let's see how we can go about it first we have to llm object by specifying the model and the api key so once we have that we don't have to do anything when we create the agent but when we create the crew we'll have to pass this embedder parameter and we'll have to pass a dictionary saying that this is the provider and this is the configuration that i would like to use and once we specify these then the crew will understand that this is the embedding model that it needs to use and we'll go ahead and use the text embedding 004 for embedding the knowledge source that we provide here Crea also provides the option to clear the knowledge. For example, let's say you have this memory or the, the data that has been embedded and stored as knowledge, then you decide to move on to a bigger data now that you've gathered so much data that you have so much knowledge. So you want to throw away this one and you want to build a bigger size knowledge all that you have to do is simply say crew ai reset memories knowledge and the old knowledge will be removed and you can upgrade the knowledge with the latest one so despite all this knowledge sources that we saw which is you know text knowledge source pdf knowledge source excel json etc crew ai provides the ability to have custom knowledge which could be you know for example an api so the example they have given here is that of extracting space news from an api endpoint in order to achieve that first we need to import the base knowledge class and we'll have to write a class that inherits the base knowledge source and inside of that we need to load the content which is by invoking the api endpoint and then getting the response and we need to format the data in this case it's the json once we have the data loaded into the system we need to format it with these two functions we'll have to use the add in order to add the data into the system so in the add we'll load the content and we will chunk it and eventually we will say save the documents so this is the inbuilt function which is actually going to create the data store or the knowledge by saving the documents that we extract from the endpoint so after writing this class what we now have to do is create an object of that and call it any variable let's say recent news and that object that we just created we need to pass as the knowledge source whenever we want the agent to use that knowledge source so passing it as a knowledge source means that this agent uses this knowledge source in order to respond to us so that pretty much brings us to the end of everything about knowledge in crew ai so in the next video let's look into tools that are available in crew ai and look into how we can create custom tools so i will see you in that video until then take care